45. Favourite well, he's annoyed with himself. 105. A little wonder as well. He could look at the ball first, or I'm, I think the professor is just going through the permutations. He is raging. Yes. Oh, 86 left. 32 left. 73. Still 32 left. Nathan, you require 20. Break of throw incoming as the half nine from Gibraltar Airport takes off behind us. Significant shift over to the left hand side, but he's overdone it. Double five instead now for Aspinall. 10. Hey, you require and it's a 32. very nervy, edgy, anxious third leg, this one. Once again, Aspinall squanders the opportunity for a break of throw. Chizzy returns with three clear darts at double 16 for a 2 1 lead, He's and on he makes no leg. mistake Thank this time. Well, we'll Nathan to throw first. Game on. Well, that is a big missed opportunity, and Dave Chisnell breathes a sigh of relief because he knows he's been let off there. The scoring all weekend has been excellent from Nathan Aspinall. The finishing has been a bit up and down. I mean, it wasn't great at the start of his match with Van Gerwen, but Van Gerwen was equally 96. poor. And it allowed the Asp to go 4-0 up in that one. 5-0 up, in fact. Nathan even said, I was thinking, I'm going to whitewash, I'm gonna whitewash Michael Van Gerwen here. This is amazing. And then Van Gerwen went absolutely bonkers and nearly got back in the match. And he spoke afterwards about how much he was shaking when he was five in love as he entered that sixth leg. He stopped short of making that analogy, uh, analogy with dogs, but you get my point. <laughs> yes. Shaking like a leaf, I think, was how he went with it. Something like 60. That. Well, it was four years ago that Nathan Aspinall made his European Tour debut. He beat Vincent van der Voort that weekend in Venray, by the way. And as recently as 2017, winning a Challenge Tour title that 99. year was the biggest achievement, his best achievement of that particular campaign. And here we are two years on from that, and Nathan Aspinall is one of the biggest names in the sport. He has been talked of as a world champion in December and January next year. Well, I think Nathan Aspinall is the 64. greatest advertisement for the Challenge Tour that you could possibly have as he looks at another 57 to leave the bullseye for a 164. Yeah, what a man, what a player. player. Nathan Aspinall. Come on, Steve Today, West, crack a smile. That was Rupert. spectacular. Even Chizzy appreciates that. Well, that's got him going. Uh, little wonder Chizzy's perspiring a little bit on the upper lip there. 100. That is the highest checkout of the weekend. We saw Bull miss for a 170, Bull miss for a 167, but the 164 goes for the Asp. And it'll be hard pushed 96. to better that. Eighty-five. Fair few exasperated gestures and glances from these two in the early stages of this one, but just one or two signs that things are coming together for Nathan Aspinall a little bit. He's left himself two six five. He's in a good position on this uh, chizzy throw actually. One hundred and twenty-five. Or at least he was before that visit. I think Aspinall still has a shout here. Very good use of the nineteens. So. Very yeah. effective use of the 19s as well. 133. Yeah, gets him down to 132. Well, he's just pinned the bullseye finish. He might need a couple more. He does have got a chunky dart, a bulbous 100. ended dart. So first dart goes in the ball. He could then move to the treble four team. But let's see how it lands. Well, it doesn't even hit the 25. So he'll try and leave himself double 16. He hated that dart. 60. He won't be particularly happy about that visit at all. Yeah, it was a sarcastic wow after the uh, second dart. 91 for Chizzy. Tops for Chizzy. 
double ten for a three two lead. Eighty one. Half an inch inside Nathan the white. requires seventy two. Chance to hit the front for the first time in this contest. Beautiful double uh, treble sixteen. He's and a beautiful double Nathan twelve. Aspinall. And Nathan Aspinall does hit the front in this Six one. Leg, Nathan to three the two up. Seven Game legs on. required to make the final. The Asp has never been this far in a European tour event. Dave Chisnell has been here many, many times. 123. Did, of course, make the final of this event, Dave Chisnell. 100. A few years ago, lost out to Michael Van Gerwen. That was the 2016 edition. Yes, yeah, seven times a European Tour finalist. But he's lost five of them. Eighty-three. Nathan has a kind of a weird record in finals of PDC events. I mean, he's beaten Rob Cross, the world number two, in a major final. Beat Michael Smith in Las Vegas earlier this year. 16. That's his most recent final, actually. And as we mentioned with Ratajski, five out of five in finals for him. If he gets through, that's a strong argument for making it six 100. out of six. Well, Christoph Ratajski beat Nathan Aspinall. And there's another one. Beat him the back end of June, just before he went to Vegas and won. He lost to Willie O'Connor. Well beaten by Willie O'Connor. Played fantastically, he did the magpie. 42. Brian Searle was the man he beat to kick things off the back end of last year. It was, well, this month last year. Just gone the year anniversary of Nathan Aspinall picking up his first PDC title. Just a lovely motion from Dave Chisnell there with that third and final dart. Great chance for Chizzy to break back straight away. Oh, behave, Nathan. Oh, he, he, oh, wow. well, that would have been I think, more valuable than the 164. 38. Given the context of the uh, situation now, that would have been for a hold of throw for a 4 2 lead. Chizzy, I think, will go straight for this, but he's come inside, and that will leave double eights. 30. And it's not to be. Nathan, you require 73. Big moment in this game for a bit of daylight between these two. Single 14. Double top. 53. Well, the finishing has left a little bit to be desired from these eight. two. I'm not complaining given the entertainment and the drama these two have served up between them so far this weekend. I think it's fairly understandable that the jitters might start to creep in. And the standards the might slip. Flag, Dave Extremely high standards they are Seven too. Flag, Dave to throw first. I thought he was going to take that off for a moment there. Game on. Thought we might have had a oh. Colin Lloyd moment on our hands. Not sure anybody's quite ready for that. They are both feeling it up there. It is very, very warm under the lights. It's been a warm day here in Gibraltar. One break apiece. Three legs all. Chizzy on throw. His flights keep on popping out. 85. Well, he's run out of flights as well because there's a whole bunch of kids here in Gibraltar who keep on clamouring at the gates here, just at the back of the back arena. of the arena. One hundred. Oh, I'll give us some flights. Give us some flights. I think Chizzy's run out. I mean, I don't know what happens if he absolutely annihilates one by Robin Hooding himself. He might not have any other option. Well, go, and, go back to the kids and ask him for a couple back. I'm not sure they're going to give him him. Well, luckily he gave me three as a little present, and I've got them in my. Were you were you were among the kids? One hundred and forty. Standing by the Give me the old senior chizzy. Please give me your flights. I was just offered them straight away. Oh, big time, Charlie. <laughs> Anyway, I'm saying, if he does need some, I'll give him back. One hundred and forty. That's very kind of you. <laughs> now, one hundred and forty. Intriguing little passage of play coming up. Intriguing. Double eights. One hundred and twenty. 
George Noble just having a glance over his shoulder. There's a little, bit of, a, 120 a little bit of a disturbance in the crowd. One or two rogue elements, shall we say. Now then, Nathan. 96. Well, they've both had a dart for the leg. 16. Chizzy, much better placed. 4 3 Beckon. Still beckons. Gary was on the seven flag. Dave Chisnell. Dave Nathan to throw first. Just Gino. about Dave Chisnell. Well, this also has the hallmarks and the potential for a match that's going to go all the way. One hundred. Two thirteen legs. Two. Second a while for the Asp to produce his first max. One hundred. And surprising that Chizzy's only been able to conjure up one so far in this encounter. 41. A slip from the Asplo. Might just allow Chizzy back in. That, that's not the split screen. That monkey is not throwing those darts, just in case you're a little bit confused. One hundred. One hundred and forty. Venom behind that second dart as well from Chizzy. I think it's there for the taking this one. Sixty. Now you require one hundred and twenty-one. Again, we find ourselves at the end of a leg with two players on similar checkouts. In a tight game. 57. Nathan, you require 120. Aspinall on strike looking at Shanghai. Awkward. Yeah, steps to the right to find a way through and he can't find a way through. And Could go ball. Oh. 88. Nathan, requires 64. Well, if he does get the chance, he set it up absolutely perfectly. But the question is whether he will get the opportunity. It was a treble, Dave. So you are looking at double eight. Daylight. 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 For the first time in this semi-final, we see a two-leg gap open up. Ninth leg, Dave to throw first. Game on. Two breaks to one in favour of the number four seed, Dave Chisnell, a European Tour champion earlier this year in Denmark, on course for a second in 2019. 59. Just seems to be clutching his shoulder, or was he just, I don't know, maybe the fabric got caught up. He's already threatened to take his shirt off once. I don't think we need him to go any further. It's a bit clingy, I think, tonight in the conditions. 140. Ninety-six. Very similar in the averages as well. 100. Just another measure of how close it has been, but Dave Chisnell just has this little bit of breathing space to work with now. Yeah, the Asp has missed a, a fair few more doubles. 140. Yeah, if, you, if you're going to be ten points clear of Chizzy in the first nine average, you'd fancy your chances, but the Asp... Well, he's had chances. He's just missed too many of them. One hundred. It's his second maximum, Nathan Aspinall. And it's a really well-timed one as well because it puts him down to 81. 140. Nathan, you require 81. This is a chance that he cannot miss. Double 12. Is he ready to pounce on 66, but he won't get the opportunity. Aspinall, two breaks apiece now, and we're back on Ten throw at 5-4. Nathan to throw first. One of Chisnell's better Game legs, one. to be honest. 66 left after 12, and... Sorry, 66 left after 9. No, it was 12. 140. 
This game is alive. Neither man is hitting the heights that they've hit so far this weekend. If one of them can just find that level that they've already produced on this stage today, then the game is there for the taking. 131. The Asp might be doing it. I just wonder whether that experience of playing a, a full day on the European Tour, a full Here's final day seven. and a full session is something that may just prove beneficial for Dave Chisnell in the final reckoning. I think it will come down to fine margins such as that, such as that, especially when you're playing 140. in high temperatures like this as well. Well, certainly, but then again, Nathan Aspinall won the UK Open, and that's winning multiple games in the final day. Admittedly, his performance 95. in the final against Rob Cross wasn't great, Nathan, but he was good enough to win. 90. And here, it might be good enough to level. Staying on the ball. He's a little bit concerned. Didn't have to go 25. Yeah, lovely. lovely. Double 16. Yeah, he's just double-checking because he's not used to going that route. But it's a fantastic way of doing it. 58. And it's a shame it didn't work out from his point of view. But no damage done so far because Chizzy's on 2 on 5 and Aspinall will return. 121. Nathan, Thanks. you require. 32. Done that all weekend, Dave Chisholm. Even if his first dart's nowhere near where it should be. His recovery Nathan darts Aspinall. are superb. But it matters not in this leg. To throw first. Because that daylight, the two leg Game gap, on. has been immediately obliterated by the Asp. Chizzy still holds the ace of throwing first in this one, but it 60. is a race to two, effectively. The other feature for Chizzy this weekend has been his accuracy on treble 19 as well. It's been noticeable 140. throughout. He's been pounding the 180s, but he's been switching to the 19s very, very effectively as well. And there again, case in point. 96. I do fear that Chizzy is in the middle of a bit of an asp charge, though, because look at those last two legs. 25 darts to win two legs. 134. Despite, I mean, it could have been back-to-back -back 12 darters for Nathan Aspinall quite comfortably. And it's two trouble visits to start this leg, and Chizzy, oh, he needed that, but he is not down to a finish. And if the asp can have another two trouble visits... Or a three treble visit. Oh, or a three treble visit. Oh, what a response. It was a double edged sword for Chizzy with the 180, leaving himself a bogey number, but that will really hurt now. 47. A 12 Nathan dart break, a 13 dart hold. 47. And a potential 11 dart break here for Nathan Aspinall to take charge of this semi final. And he's on double 16 once again. And he okay, finds the double eight, the and he's won three without Nathan reply. Aspinall. And we have got an issue here. Oh, George Noble, you tell him. Yeah, that's been simmering. I did notice George Noble look over his shoulder earlier. Uh, Nathan Aspinall 12 took legs, exception Nathan there. Nathan to throw first. Game on. Quite right, George Noble. Do not mess with the governor. You're, you've got world-class darts, some of the best players in the world, putting on a show for you. Cheer all you like. Fools Give him do. some respect. You will respect George Noble. You will respect Nathan Aspinall. The last three legs, 12 darter, 13 darter, 12 darter. If you don't put the Asp to bed when Easy. you had the chance early on, he can come back from anywhere. This is why. He is one of the hottest properties in world darts right 42. now. Yeah, well, security have identified the perpetrator, by the way, so I think that should be the end of it. And these two can focus on the matter in hand. Chizzy's matter in hand is levelling things up at six apiece. Aspinall has the momentum behind him, but Chizzy's in charge in this leg. Although Nathan Aspinall might well come back at him here with another 180. One and he has done. It's a fourth 180 for Nathan Aspinall. And they have all come in the last five legs, having gone 4 3 down. 140. Chizzy first to a finish on the Aspinall throw. The Aspinall two darts are though. 141. He's already taken this out. 
Hasn't he just... Won't take it out here, though. 95. Nathan, you require 97. Two darts away from a place in the first ever European Tour final for Nathan Aspinall. Oh, 21 scored, 76 left. 56 left, which 57. he can't do in Maybe one dart. So he leaves himself tops, but Dave Chisnell can force a last leg decider. He would have the throw in that last leg decider as well. Can he hold it together? Tops it is. Last dart. Oh, oh, oh Chis! We do get another leg. And these two have the delivered. Final leg, Dave Always two, had the potential first. to go the distance, this one. Game on. And we are into a 13th leg. It will be unlucky for some. Well, in his most recent European Tour semi final, he was battered 7 1 by Michael Van Gerwen. One hundred. Very different story this time around. Look at that. Hundred average for Aspen or ninety six for Chisnell. And yet the Asp has missed sixteen darts at double in that. I mean it could have been another enormous ton plus average from the Asp if he'd finished a little bit better. He needs to find a break throw in this last leg and already he's chasing and chasing and trudges to the board because he knows that Chiz can take this away from him simply had to come away with two trebles on that visit 100 Chizzy is down to a finish first on his throat and he's going to get six starts from 161 from here and Nathan Aspinall, so, 60. so good all David weekend. Goal, he beat Van Gerwen. He beat Peter Wright. But I don't think he's going to beat Dave Chisnell. Because there are match darts incoming for yet another Euro Tour final for the Professor Dave Chisnell. He's hit a nine darter today. He has been sublime. This has been his worst performance of the weekend, and yet he might still be one of the hottest properties in darts right now in a last leg decider. Double 12 for Chizzy. And double and 12 is pinned by Chizzy. And a lovely embrace between the pair of them to wrap up what has been a really key.